Hello everyone. Uh, I know I made a couple of videos regarding Barcada's air quality sensors, but today I wanted to focus on one of the key use cases, which is detecting and hopefully reducing vaping and smoking incidents. The great part about this sensor is that as opposed to a camera, it can be installed in more private areas such as locker rooms, bathrooms or any other shared living space. What I have behind me is the SV25, which is the top of the range. It allows me to get reports not only regarding vaping, uh, but also other metrics such as the air quality, either by measuring the volatile compounds, the particulate matter, or the carbon dioxide. It can also report the carbon monoxide. It has a motion sensor as well that gets triggered uh, as a PIR. And it also records ambient light, temperature, and humidity. Now, if you're looking for something to detect vaping per se, you can go down a notch and choose the SV23 series. But remember that the 21, which is the bottom of the range, does not support that. Just to demonstrate, I have a vape in my hand here. All I need to do is click on my sensor. I actually see the readings in real time as well. You can see that there's motion being spotted as I'm moving around it. Noise levels keep going up and down as I uh, speak. And currently vaping is set as zero. So I'm gonna set the trigger. All I have to do is enable it and also choose a sensitivity. So you can play around with that depending on how sensitive you want the sensor to be. I can also choose users to notify. Uh, this happens over email uh, or SMS. And you can also use APIs if you want to programmatically export all these alerts. But for now, I'm just gonna click save. I'm just gonna give this vape a try. So as you can see, a couple of uh, puffs and all of a sudden I get confirmation in within command itself. The vape index went very, very high. And due to the fact that I can also associate the camera logically to it, I get an understanding of exactly who was in that particular area. Obviously, in my case, the camera is just in front of me. But if you're deploying this into a more private area, you'd most likely have a camera on the outside pointing at the door and looking at who's entering and exiting and correlating that with different events. With the latest changes in the UI, we make it easy for you to also understand exactly what persons or vehicles have been associated with the alert. So as you can see here, because I have people analytics turned on, on my kitchen camera, I get to see thumbnails of myself while the alert is happening. Hopefully this shows you how easy it is to set one of these up. All you need is a cable that will provide the sensor with PoE, and allow it to reach the internet. So it will automatically connect to your Vercada account and start streaming data. One last thing, and I'll refer here to the vaping detection best practices document that is available online, so you can read that, is if you want to detect vaping, the best place to put this is actually on the ceiling because the vape smoke travels up. The reason that I put that here is because I'm actually more interested in tracking CO2. CO2 being a heavier gas tends to linger lower. 